Today I'm going to show you a KSGER soldering station that I got about a month ago from Banggood. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. I got this soldering station about a month ago. I ordered it back in January from Banggood and right before their Chinese New Year, but it took a while to get it. Now, uh, you're going to see some clips in here where I have my other glasses on. I filmed that about a month ago and I put this aside and did some other projects. So I'm getting back to this right now and I'm going to show you how to use this and how good this thing is. Now, the first thing I have to show you is that it comes with this kind of soldering tip here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it looks like a cutting blade. Well, when they asked me to do another review, I said, well, send me some uh, other tips because I watched other people review it and they got that soldering tip in there and says there's no way I'm going to be able to solder wood. But uh, later on I say it's a package of three. It's actually a package of four soldering tips. And the one I'm going to be using in this project is a BC2, which is and it's pretty pretty similar to ones that I use all the time and the thing about these soldering tips is is you get the tip and the heating element all in one and all you do is just push it down in and you have to make sure it goes all the way down in or you're going to end up getting an error message in your uh, display here when you start it up so let's get going with this right now and we'll see what I look like a month ago. In the very first stages of the project, Crossing Rock Creek, as you can recall, I had to solder some new feeders and some jumpers on the rail back there on that uh, reversing circuit. And it was kind of hard doing that with this thing right here. This weighs about uh, Oh, I'd estimate about three, three and a half pounds. It was kind of hard getting over there and awkward and everything. But since then, I found something else that does the same thing, and that's this right here. The representative from Banggood asked me if I wanted to do another review, and I told him, yeah, I'd like to review this thing right here. So he sent me this thing. Now, I, <laughs> I thought, you know, I picked it out and... Uh, what I have to do is order it and then they'll they pay for it but uh, that was uh, right before Chinese New Year I'm not sure exactly when that was but I just got it yesterday today's the 21st so I got it March the 20th so it took that long to get here but anyway I also ordered some extra tips on it because the tips that I saw that it had, or the tip that I saw that I had, is like this, and it looks like, if you could see that, it looks like a number 11 X-Acto blade, which is not very good to solder with, especially for track or small electronic projects. So I told them to send me some extra ones. They're, they have a pack of three. And while you're at it, send me a helping hands. So that's what this thing is here for. I'm assembling this uh, helping hands. This is a nice base right here. I'm not sure what it's made of. I'll have to look that up. But these are uh, normal uh, quarter inch pipe threads that fit in there. But normally if you have a pipe thread, it's not going to fit all the way down in there. It's going to stop before you get to bottoming it out on the nut. So they must have adjusted or modified the threads in the base of this thing. Now, you, it has four uh, alligator clips. What I'm doing is taking my needle nose and just sticking it in the back of this just to expand it a little bit. So it'll hold a little bit better. So when I put it in, it... I didn't do it to this one here, but put it in there like that. You see how it separates it right there. It just makes it a little bit tighter so it's harder to fall out. 
rubber pads that go on the bottom. The only thing is, you got four holes, four legs on there, but I only got three of these in the box. Now these were just thrown in loose. Um, this was loose in the box. Three of these were wrapped in a shrink wrap, or not a shrink wrap, but a bubble wrap bag. They were folded up and pushed in, and this one of these was loose. The alligator clips in the in, in the uh, heat shrink was in this bag here. And for what reason, I don't know that they didn't put these in the bag, but they were just thrown in the box and there was only three of them in there. So now I know you're going to say, well, I just use a soldering iron. Well, I used to do that until I started using uh, a temperature regulated uh, soldering station, which does a lot better. Here's the, uh, the iron right here. But that's what we're going to talk about, this little soldering station and I, I don't know KSGER so Kisger not quite sure how to pronounce that KSGER now that we got that out of the way I'm going to show you how to go through the menu in this right now when you first turn this on you're going to be surprised because the menu comes up in Chinese the second thing is well other than the power cord right there but the switch is backwards. You normally, when you're putting a switch on, it's on on the top position. And also, if you don't have the soldering iron in here, you're going to get, it's going to say error. But when I first turned it on, it everything was in Chinese and I, you know, and I was racking my brains trying to figure out how to do it. And then I, then I thought, well, maybe you know, in, in some products, uh, when you turn things on, you hit another button while you're, while you're having it turned on and you come up to a setup uh, menu. And that's what I did here. I push in, it's a rotary encoder here, and you can also push it in. And you just hold it in and turn it on. And it takes a while. And you can see the display there. I don't know if it'll focus in on that, but you bring it down to English. Hit that. Please wait. And then, because I don't have the, the soldering iron in there, it shows up an error because you have to have that in there when you start it up. So let's go through the menu now. This has a nice keyed five pin plug on it, so we'll just put that in there for to get this thing started. Let's see if we get the key in the right spot. Straight up. Okay, nice plug on here. Okay, and we'll turn it on in the back. All right, and this thing is set for uh, 300 degrees right now. And you can see it doesn't take very long to get up to temperature. And you could adjust the temperature on here. Let me take this little thing off the... Alright, so... Okay, so... We'll try to go into the menu and see what we can do with this thing. I have it down to 233 right now. It says it's sleeping, so... Okay. Stand by, sleeping. Okay, so when I'm trying to do this, it's... Uh... It's 300, okay. We'll keep it right there. So I'm going to press it in for a couple of seconds and it'll come up with the menu. Now I'm not sure, quite sure what all these uh, menu items are for on here. Standby, mode, shake. So I guess you have to shake it. I'm not quite sure. Auto, manual, switch, shake. So we'll just, we'll just put it on automatic. Time, standby. 
um, you know, I guess that's if you have it uh, set in and you want the temperature to drop down and we'll have it drop down at 200 degrees centigrade. Okay. And we'll set that up. Okay. 200 degrees. Okay. Sleep. Stand. Oops. Sleep. Delay time 30 minutes. We'll put that in sleep mode where it just completely shuts it off after about 15 minutes. Okay. Boost. If you need a little bit extra uh, temperature on it, um, we'll put uh, another 50 degrees centigrade on it and we'll knock this down a little bit, maybe just for one minute. Cold in, I'm not sure what that is. Tip. Now you could uh, identify what tip that you have on here. And right now we have, right now I'm using a BC2. Let's see if it, it has that listed on there. B2. Well, it has B2. We'll put that on there because I, I, that's what I have on there right now. Oh, there's a B. Oh, there's a BC2. Okay, so we'll go back to that B2. Turn that off. Okay, so we have a BC2. So this is the available tips that, uh, you know, I guess you could turn off a uh, particular tip and turn off or turn on a particular tip on here. Okay, so. Stepping. Five degrees. Or, Stepping, that's every time that you click on the rotary encoder. Password, we don't need a password. Screen save, we don't need a screen save. Buzzer, voltage, you could choose uh, voltage display. Um, we don't need a voltage display on our low vol, low vol P, not quite sure what that is. Power on, power on state running, okay. Desolder. I don't do desoldering, so I'm not quite sure what the uh, inching valve is for that. I'd have to look at uh, the non-existent um, instruction manual on this thing. Pump set. I'm not quite sure what that is. Language. There's language, so change it from Chinese to English. Date and time. Okay. Confirm. So... It's 2019. It's uh, April. What's today's date? Today's the 19th that I'm doing this. So we'll set that in there. 19. And it is 2.31 p.m. So let's see if it does the 24-hour one. Yes, it does. 2... 31 we'll put it at 32 and then set this at 0 okay there we go date and time RTC adjust day error not quite sure what that is RTC initiate, not sure what that is. System info gives your hardware version and software version. Init and exit. And that's all it is to setting it up. So we got our temperature on there. Let's see if we go like this. Let's set temperature. Uh, we can do that. Let's see what the range is on here. So it's 150 degrees centigrade all the way up to 480 degrees centigrade. So we'll keep it at 300 right now. That's where it was when I first turned it on. It gives you the time on there. It gives you the temperature uh, in the room temperature. 
and so we're ready to go to solder. So I'll set this up so I'll show you how to solder with this thing. Okay, I'm going to tin a couple of pieces of wire, and I normally don't uh, strip off that much insulation on it, but just for this demonstration right here, I'm doing a little bit more to see how this thing works. Put some solder on the tip of this. See how that looks. All right, so. This is 300 degrees. I'm not quite sure what 300 degrees is it in Fahrenheit, but it seems like it uh, works pretty good on there. That's pretty hot. So maybe I'll drop that down to maybe 275. Okay, I have it down to 275 see how that works because that went on real fast real hot okay all right put a little bit of flux on or solder on there And that solder is pretty good on there. I mean, it, this this solder is a little bit better than my other soldering station, my Xtronic, the big three, four pound unit. And the good thing about this KSGER is it's lightweight, it's small, compact, and you could uh, carry it around anywhere, and it heats up really fast, and it does a really good job on there. So I'm, I'm really uh, impressed with this. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on here. And then shut this off. Okay, I got on my cell phone, I got a Celsius converter on here. So, let me see, Celsius, 300. Oops. It's got a dot in there, 300. is uh, 572 degrees so when I went down and that went pretty well on that temperature right there I normally uh, solder at 650 degrees so let me uh, go down to 275 okay is 527 degrees Fahrenheit there we go all right but it's uh, this is an app Celsius converter up on the top there. I was operating at a temperature lower than I normally do because I'm normally 650 degrees Fahrenheit which I do on my other soldering station so even at this lower temperature I it had it did a pretty good job on that wire on there and we'll get a close-up of it over here I tinned both of those those are 22 gauge wire and that went pretty pretty fast I was surprised at, at the temperature that I had on there, how fast it went. This is a, a 6040 rosin core solder. Yeah, 6040 rosin core solder. So all in all, I you know I really like this uh, KSGER Kisger. Uh, I got this from Banggood. Uh, they sent it to me for nothing. So uh, along with uh, this deal right here, these helping hands and the extra tips. Uh, I don't think I'd be would have been able to do it with the tip that they provide with it, the one that looks like the uh, Exacto blade. But uh, all in all, um, you know, for about uh, I'm not quite sure, maybe 50, 60 bucks. I mean, this is a good buy, and you could use it anywhere. You can just pop it anywhere. It doesn't take anything. It's a lot better than this thing right here, because when I had to solder some track on my layout, I had to remove all my buildings up there just to set up my. Uh, soldering station up there with this thing I, I can just pop this down anywhere and it you know it fits nicely anywhere in there so until the next time we'll see ya